right here. That's normal. That's what we'd like it to look like. Ultrasound is particularly good for soft tissue types of problems, tendons, ligaments, those sorts of things. So what I'm looking for are any areas where they might be torn or have a little bit of inflammation, some tendonitis. So right now we're looking at it sliced like a loaf of bread. And then if we rotate the probe 90 degrees, we can look at them from the top of the leg to the bottom of the leg. This is the superficial digital flexor tendon right there. This is the deep digital flexor tendon right there. This is the inferior check ligament there. The furthest away from the skin, this is the suspensory ligament here. You can see these nice parallel fibers right here. That's normal. That's what we'd like it to look like. But on his inside suspensory branch, he doesn't have those same nice parallel fibers. This is actually an area of abnormality. Those black areas, those are areas where his suspensory ligament has been torn. We can look at that longitudinally as well, where we're looking for parallel fibers. And these fibers up here look pretty normal. And these fibers right in here, this is where they're torn, that dark area right there where it's black. And then these fibers still look pretty good right there. The reason that he's lame is he has a tear in his medial suspensory branch on the inside of his leg. This is actually the second time this thoroughbred racehorse has sustained this injury, so his career as a racehorse is probably over. However, um, he's fortunate in that his career as a sport horse is probably just beginning. He'll need probably between six and nine months to really get back to where he can go into more intensive event training.